All right, folks, because of popular demand, I am doing the Fermin Lopez update. Thank you for flooding the comment section for this request. So first, let's go over the small details before we go over what you're really here for is those updated stats. So the first name stays the same. The last name, I put it just like the EA version, Lopez Marin. No one really calls them like that, so you want to set it up as known as Fermin. Commentary name is Lopez. I just changed it from the version that doesn't have the accent on the O to the one that has it, because why not? Just remember that when you fill this out, most likely it's not going to say Fermin on the kit. And he does wear it like that. So make sure you include Fermin. I also changed his kit number from number 32 to number 16. As you can see there, everything else here stays the same. Remember, this is just about updates. If you want to know how to build the face mesh, you're going to want to look at my original video that's going to be linked in the video description or at the end of this video. Now, when it comes to the body, there is a slight change. He went from 5'8 to 5'9. So he did grow an inch and the weight changes from 145 to 141 pounds. So before we move on, please make sure you like and subscribe, turn on notifications and a special shout out to my very first Patreon. This was actually back in September, but since I never thought I would get a Patreon, I, ne I forgot to give the shout out. So here's a shout out to Vamos Barça. You will forever be known as my very first Patreon. Thank you very much. And also, I have received my very first super thanks. This by Kathy Rojas 17. This is for my career mode episode 9. Make sure you check out episode 10 coming out soon. I will be giving out a special thanks. Moving on to the kit. So I gave him the long sleeve shirts because you can find pictures where he is wearing the long sleeve shirt with the undershirt. Don't go with this one, go with this one. But to be honest, most of the time he wears it short. So if it's cold, remember you, you could always edit this before a game, up to you. Now the major change on his boots, he's no longer with Adidas. He has now switched to Under Armour. Now, although these are not the exact ones he wears, even though they are the exact one he wears, it's just that he wears them in sky blue, but it's not available in sky blue. So if you can, I don't know if you can unlock it, but if you do, give him the sky blue ones. He also wears these other versions, but he wears them, see how that's in orange? He wears them in gold. I am personally gonna go with these right here. But as you can see, once you switch this, it takes off the ankle tape. So make sure, yeah, this stays short. So make sure you reapply the ankle tape because he does wear it and it always adds to the effect that he has super short socks because that's how he wears his socks, super short. Now under animations, nothing has changed. I checked out the free kick style and the penalty, I found absolutely nothing. And I double checked his running, it stays on freight train. So those are the minor changes. Let's move on to the stats. Oh yeah, and one quick mention, under position, I have him as an attacking midfielder. The default game has him as a regular central midfielder. Now, keep note that if you change this, I'm not gonna do it now, cause it's gonna reset all those stats, which by the way, have not been updated. So those are not his updated stats. You're gonna see that in just a few seconds. I always do that last. And you decide if it's gonna be a central midfielder or attacking midfielder it's up to you he plays both you can always give him individual instructions to move forward i like to put him as an attacking midfielder because that's really what he is now you can always just use the fc24 version of fermin lopez because he is in the game and update his stats and that's all but if you take a look at my fermin lopez right here and you take a look at with no offense to ea sports fermin lopez and then you let take a look at a picture of what he looks like in real life i would say mine is a lot more accurate with all due respect so go with mine Plus it helps the channel. All right, so the game has Fermin Lopez at a 68 overall. My previous creation has him at a 67, so I got it pretty close to start with, but he has improved. So his new number is to now a whopping 76, which is pretty fair because in eFootball, they got him at a 78. So let's take a look at the details. All right, so for the attributes on attack, the crossing is set to 64. Finishing 72, heading is 55, short passing is 79, volleys is 48, 
and weak foot ability is 4. For defending, the standing tackle is 68, the sliding tackle is 55. On the skill, dribbling is 79, curve 66, free kick accuracy 63, long passing 69, ball control 81. For the power, the shot power is at an 80. The jumping, 61. Stamina, 77. Strength, 58. Long shots, 71. For the movement, on acceleration, that's a 78. The sprint speed, 74. Agility, that's on 84. Reactions, 75. And balance is 82. For the mentality, aggression is set to 75. Interceptions, 58. Positioning, 60. Vision, 79. And penalties, 58. For the goalkeeper, the diving is set to 8, the handling set to 14, kicking is set to 8, positioning 7, and reflexes 7. Now, if you want to create the original mesh, that's going to be on your lower left. And if you enjoyed this player update, please drop a like, subscribe, turn on notifications. You could always help out the channel by becoming a Patreon, becoming a member, leaving a tip. It's all in the video description. You can also check out my players in action in the career mode that's on the lower right. You guys take care. Have a good one.